Welcome to the Applied Biosystems TAC Talk video series, where we break down real-time PCR to make it easier for you. If you've ever been in the market for a real-time PCR master mix, you've likely heard of Rock's dye. It's so ubiquitous that maybe you've never stopped to think about why. So let's talk about it. Rock's dye is an inert fluorescent molecule that can be detected by a real-time PCR instrument when it's present in reactions. But unlike FAM, VIC, and Applied Biosystems Cybergreen Master Mix Reporter dyes, Rock's fluorescence doesn't change as a direct result of PCR amplification. Instead, Rock's just sits there. Now you may be asking, what's the point? Well, in any real-time PCR system, there are several potential sources of well-to-well -well variability in reporter molecule excitation and signal detection. These include bubbles in wells and even differences in the degree of condensation. ROX normalizes for these and other sources of variability. In the process, it improves data precision between technical replicates. Well, here's how it works. Say that we're looking at two specific wells in my reaction plate. I pipette exactly the same amount of the same sample into each well and amplify in real time. A short time later, we reach cycle 30. As for every cycle, the instrument will take a reading of my reporter die. I expect the two readings to be identical since I started with the same reaction components. Unfortunately, they're not, due to a system inconsistency between these two wells. Relatively speaking, these measurements are incorrect. Fortunately, we also have rocks die in these same two wells. And like the reporter, it's also being measured. And look, it's actually shadowing the reporter. In other words, the system inconsistency is affecting rocks to the same degree that it's affecting the reporter. Importantly, the instrument will collect these paired measurements in every well at every cycle, and then divide every reporter measurement by its corresponding rocks measurement at the end of the run. As a result, the precision of our data goes way up. Oh, by the way, the resulting value is called the RN, which stands for normalized reporter. There are two key points to mention about rocks. With a couple of exceptions, Applied Biosystems real-time PCR master mixes already contain optimized amounts of rocks when they arrive at your door, so there's no need to add it. Second, Applied Biosystems real-time PCR software defaults to rocks as the passive reference die. This is important to know because if for some reason you decide to use a master mix that doesn't contain rocks, you'll want to change the passive reference die selection to none. Otherwise, the software will attempt to normalize to a die that's not there. Not a good thing. Alternatively, if you need to use a different passive reference for multiplexing purposes, like Applied Biosystems Mustang Purple Die, you can select another option with the software. So now you know why Rocks Die rocks. It's a low effort tool that can improve data quality and make qPCR easier and more informative. You can see all our rocks containing master mixes at thermofisher.com slash master mix. Thanks for watching. Check out more Applied Biosystems Tac Talk videos on our website at thermofisher.com slash tactalk.